is one of the world planned cities in West Africa. Originally started from community one to 12, but now we have all the way to 25 and still counting getting to 30. It is also the second port city in Ghana. Now, if you want to know the time in Ghana, just look at the time in the UK and you know the time in Ghana because we fall on the Greenwich Meridian and the Greenwich Meridian passes through this town in Ghana, Tema. And you are actually in the center of the world. Even though we are competing with other country, our coordinate, the geographers tell us that Ghanil coordinates very well, that makes it the center of the world. So we are 400 kilometers away from the equator, so we fall on all this time zone, that makes it center of the world, and no dispute about that. Whether Canada, whatever country, Ghana is the center of the world. So you are driving, in the wow. center of the world. And so when you have your smartphone and you go to your uh, compass and you set it, when we get into Tema, it will tell you the Greenwich Meridian you are on longer to zero degrees Celsius. Now coming up on my right and on your left is a shaman. A shaman is United States of Accra. All the names, all the cities. So we have Lebanon, we have all the names in here. And this town was purposely founded also for, by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to house the workers of the port. To house the workers of the port. But now it's a sprouting uh, uh, town or township which has everybody in there everybody everybody so The name Tema, T-E-M-A, is not the original name. The original name, this is a girl town. A girl town. The land belongs to the girl people. And therefore, the name Tema is not its corrupted version of Tokman. Tokman. That's what it's supposed to be called. But we now call it Tem. And even people will call it Tem. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Tem. <laughs> Today, Saturday, I hope the traffic yeah. is not much ahead of us because uh, there's a lot of traffic between the free zones and cliff and prom prom. And sometimes it can take you 40 minutes to get out of that traffic. <laughs> so this, to my left and to your right, is the township of Tema. And it is also Ghana's industrial city. About 80% of industries in the country are in the Tema area. And also, the first private 
power producer as of the power plant is in this area and it will interest you that the owner another owner but the lead man for this company is a chief a paramount chief in Ho uh, called Asogli traditional area is the paramount chief of the Asogli traditional area called Togwe Afede he is a multi-millionaire chief he has multi-millionaire chief have various various companies every city he likes <laughs> he goes up yes how did he get it or how did he start off you know oh that i cannot tell how he started off but uh, <laughs> what about the family background you know sometimes people well i know he's from the royal family he's a chief he's well educated he's not just any other chief he's a well educated chief and therefore and one of the things is that the people of the volta region uh education is the trump card because uh, they value education uh, more than any other thing and they, so education they believe that education can transform their lives so they value education or like I'm not gonna but they, yes they are highly educated people and it's from the royal family it's a businessman that's all that I can say <laughs> yes okay, so but he's also a traditional chief And when coming in through the airport, you, you also see one airline, I don't know, maybe you see uh, our uh, Africa, uh, he owns a, uh, not a private jet, but he owns an airline that runs within West Africa. So does his airline fly throughout West Africa? Yes, fly oh, Ghana. Cool. Ghana, Nigeria, all over yeah, West Africa, and I think he's trying to get into South, Af South Africa and all that. Yeah. So, and he's, yeah, he has various, various businesses. He has a brokerage company, as this yeah, whole lot, and also own the oldest football club in Ghana, Accra House of Folk, that was established in 1911. And in Ghana, we have, even though we have various uh, football clubs, there are only two clubs in Ghana. Yes, that is Asante Kotoko from the Ashanti region and Accra House of Folk. Never say die until the bones are rotten. That is their motto. And Asante Kotoko is Hukum Apima. Apimba, when you kill a thousand, a thousand more will appear. All right. Yeah. So between these two clubs, when they are playing, Ghana comes to a standstill. Especially, but it's not that people are not taking interest in there. And the worst football disaster in Africa happened between these two clubs on May 9. Uh, also, I was saying that in 19. From 1992, the people of Ghana accepted the constitution and all that. And therefore, it comes with some responsibilities and others. Now, in, before that, we have only one broadcasting station in the country known as the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. But after the promulgation of the 1992 constitution, giving birth to the Media Commission, which licenses other uh, and the National Communication Authority, which license other operators. So we have over 20 to 50 radio stations broadcasted in the Accra area alone and hundreds of TV stations. Now some broadcast solely in English and others mix with the local language and others also solely in the local language. And And we also have digital stations. Now, Ghana's biggest selling newspaper. Who can tell me? 
but you tell me, I give you a price. Oh, man. Yeah. No, you. Oh. <laughs> no, you. No, you are disqualified. You are disqualified. <laughs> The biggest selling newspaper in Ghana. Hey, who can You should just say name one of them. I know graphic is one. No, I'm saying Ghana's biggest selling newspaper. Yes, I at least I got one of them. Okay. Yeah, you, you, uh, have, okay, you have the names. I got something. No, yes, you have the, the names. Yes, yes, yes. we have. We, you have the names, but I'm saying Ghana's biggest yeah, seller. No, since 1963. Okay. <laughs> He's a daily graphic. <laughs> daily graphic used to be a government operated newspaper together with Ghanaian Times. They are, but now, Ghanaian Times is the third because it has been taken over by the Daily Guide. Daily Guide <laughs> is a private newspaper run by a politician. <laughs> yeah, but... So it's full of lies, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> when you live in Ghana, you know all oh, this paper. <laughs> now, most of the private newspapers, when you live in Ghana, you know where they are aligning themselves to. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, it's the Daily Graphic, which is Ghana's biggest selling newspaper, comes out daily. And then we have the Ghanaian Times. And then we have the Daily Guide. We have the e former you name them. Yeah, and and guide. some of them are, also, but the biggest, if you want the finances, and all that you are interested in finances is the BFT, Business and Financial Time. Okay. That is when you want accurate numbers and you want to do some investments, then you buy the okay. BFT. <laughs> yes. I go. Amen. I have a price again. Who can tell me how old is Ghana since independence? Sure. Let's get some seven, so it's a sixty-four. The Ghanaians are not part. Unka, unka, disqualified. It should be sixty-four. Yeah. Nineteen fifty-seven, so we have sixty-four. We badge like sixty-four, fifty-seven. So we have sixty-four. So are you giving me the answer 64? <laughs> yes or? Well, March just came, so it'll be 65. So it's 65 now. Good job, Akuma. Good job, 65. Good job. Good job, <laughs> job on your math. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So, but you gave me 64 first. So. <laughs> so technically, you're wrong. Yeah. That's why I give you. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, we, the way it's price, some Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, I said that as a republic was first July. So, so it's not yet. So, how old will be Ghana as a sovereign state on first July, twenty twenty two? Well, 65, we're still going to win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said 50, 57. Was the yes. And then I'm not, my second question is uh, July 1961, uh, 1960, Ghana became a sovereign state. So from 1960, 1st July 1960 to 2022, how old will Ghana be on 1st July 2022? Come on, mathematicians, 
simple one. Big and a prize. He just talking. <laughs> no, prizes come. I'm trying to think. Cause I've been thinking a lot. Yeah, prizes come. Sixty-two. Sixty-one. 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 S